<clears throat> right, okay, we'll go for a take on this one. Ready? Okay, Scott. Speed. Speed. Uh, Land of Scorpions, scene two. Slate one, take one. Action! Get the fucking hood on him and fucking fucking forgot what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! We got an outtake! <laughs> I wrote the first scene for Land of Scorpions when I was in Japan and looking to add an American accent to my showreel as an actor. However, due to scheduling problems with myself, the other actor and the crew, uh, it was never actually filmed. Not long after that, I got a part in a Japanese feature film, which was shooting on location in Bulgaria. So I took my camera along with me and I shot the scene in a cafe in Sofia. However, I forgot to take along my Rode video mic. Uh, so the sound was terrible and it made the footage unusable. Finally, I came back home to Scotland and decided to shoot the scene in my natural accent. After filming the scene and posting it online, I got a lot of comments from people wanting to see the full film. Now, I'm a big fan of Film Riot, so when I heard about the My Road Reel short film competition, I thought this would be an ideal opportunity to expand on that first scene. The only person that you need to look at is Kerry. So Kerry, can you be an island a bit further down for them? That's good. So just keep your eye on Kerry. You keep your eye on him. What's your angle? Yeah, but I'm coming back here. Like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. Ah, it was cool. It was cool. I enjoyed it. For, for what it was, I enjoyed it. Um, I'm oh, surprised to see what goes on. Aye. In the background. I never realised there was so many different times you had to do the same thing. I never realised that, you know, you know, rehearsing and then doing it and then doing it again and doing it again and then doing it from different angles. So that was surprising. I think we'll be better the next time, do you think? <laughs> well, I don't know if we'll, I don't know if we'll afford this. Well, never know. Aye, it was good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Especially, enjoy it. Uh, especially when he left and we done another scene. Well, you know, when James Bond's calling, you've got to go. I'm not giving up my cover. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, and but take your time with it. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah. Spell it out. Yeah. Right. I'm not giving up my cover. Yep. Yep. Like it. It's a net again. It's a nice contrast. You're it's now becoming aggressive, good. and she's, she's becoming now, nice. Down a bit. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Okay. You want your camera? Um, what's your last line? Um, don't, don't, uh, don't, don't lie to me. What's that? Stephen, what did I call you? Uh, something, something, something. Don't make me repeat myself, don't Stephen. Don't make me repeat myself, Stephen. And don't make this any harder. Harder, 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 harder needs to be, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I got involved with the film just through a mutual group of filmmakers who all get together and kind of make short films so that was the kind of inspiration and then Martin Burns came up with the, the script which was um, pretty dynamite for me because it allowed a lot of dark lighting and stuff so it was definitely a preferred thing for me. I like minimal lighting and kind of Breaking Bad style shadowing in the faces and stuff so it was, it was a definitely great fun for me. Um, yeah, it was all around great shit, like really quick. Like, we did it in one night, so it was like running about to, like every different location we could get really fast. And yeah, great night shit. Really enjoyable. You need to be more scared. You didn't say that. Um, you, although you're looking at her, you want to be like, Rottweilers want to have a go at her. And so you're looking at her and looking at her. Not too much movement. Not too much of that. Just. Be a presence and uh, try and keep still, but have that intention that you want to have a go at him. 
Thank you for slapping me. <laughs> no problem. That was um, a lot of fun. That's why I got on board this project. So. I think that's the only reason you, t- you uh-huh. said yes to this of project, course. was so that she could slap me. Um, when I first, first, the first one was really sore. Yeah, when I first showed Kerry the script when it was given to me, and then she says, oh my god, what an amazing opportunity to slap you right in uh, the face. Yeah, so I'm in. Yeah, and then when she, the first take we'd done, she slapped me as hard as she possibly could. I didn't realise that it was that hard. Yeah, and I almost lost like three teeth. <laughs> and then when the director showed he cut, the crew erupted, <laughs> and it was... Um, Quite an interesting moment, uh-huh. so thank uh-huh. you yeah, for that. No, yeah, no problem. Not to mention the cold, and uh-huh. I'm sitting there with a vest on, absolutely freezing, and she is continuously slapping me, take after take after take. So, yeah, thank you for that. No problem. But I had a, I had a great time uh-huh. on Land of Scorpions, I really did. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. No, 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 it was a great, it was a great relocation as well, actually. I mean, it was really, really, I don't, I don't know the word, um, authentic for yeah. it. I mean, it was, it was, it pe- it was perfect, uh-huh. perfect for the scene. Brilliant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a long day, long day shoot, but it was worth it. We got a lot of good, yeah. good material out of it, definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, this ad- admittedly, this shoot was the first time that I'd uh, used an NTG1. It's uh, usually the, the bigger microphones that, that I end up using, but um, a couple of parts we were uh, in a little kind of tight sit- tight, uh, tight frame and whatnot um, in a car there, and I was kind of splayed in the back, and it was good to have that compact uh, microphone this time around, so waggling it around didn't cause too many uh, too many problems, you know? And it worked well to have a nice compact one, but still retain the kind of quality that you need for for a good shoot.